thought this would be a good day to go to Goodwill. It's Tuesday, and let's see what the new colors are and uh, go from there. This is right by the front door. This is amazing. I did look up on eBay what they're going for. I cannot remember what this one was. That one was hard to find, that particular wooden magazine rack. I saw this porcelain ceramic basket. It's really interesting. It was cute. It looks like it reminds me of those, like, not handmade, but hand painted ceramics from back in the day. It looked like it didn't have like a signature, but initials. So I do think it was hand painted. Beautiful plate. I believe made in Japan. The sticker was mostly peeled off, so it was hard to tell. But it does remind me of this made in Japan plates, dishware, what have you. And I love that our Goodwill still has their Christmas stuff out. I still love to go through and see what they have. So I'm, I'm glad they don't pull it out like just one time a year because I love my Christmas stuff. This is interesting. I have never seen anything like this before, and apparently it sells for a good amount of money. It's a cute little candle holder. That'd be cute if you had like a set of the reindeer. Like like different stances and stuff. This plate was beautiful. Again, it's one it was one of those hand painted ceramics from back in the day. By Donna. Donna, you did a great job. It's gorgeous. I love it. Kinda wish I grabbed it now, but I did not. <laughs> Looking to see if the Christmas trays had like a vintage feel. They didn't feel old enough to me. Probably 80s, 90s. It might have been older, but I just but two dollars wasn't bad though. Not bad at all. This excited me. This was a or is a Fenton dish. It went to $9.99. I did look these up on eBay. I could not find any that had sold. Not exactly like this. Similar, but not exact. This plate was intriguing as well. Again, I did look up on eBay. And I found a bunch of these that sold, but not this exact one. So I think the Fenton one was an okay price. This was an okay price for Goodwill. So if you loved it. I think you got a great deal. For a reseller, I don't think it was a great deal. These were interesting. They, they look like really cheap metal. The nice cut glass. That cork has definitely seen better days. It was a neat set, though. I love these warming trays. These are so cool. I would never use one, so I never buy them, but these were really good deals. This one I found sold for, yeah, there we go, $39. Apologies that the uh, screenshot is a little fuzzy. I have to zoom in so you can see it. They went $9.99 for this one, and I think they sold it for under $20, so that one doesn't go for as much. I like the wood handles on it, though. I love this slow cooker. I love the pattern on it. I looked on eBay. It was hard to find this pattern that sold. I had to scroll for a while, but I did find one that sold. Unfortunately, the one that sold did not have the warming tray underneath. It was just the dish. It sold for 25 but it didn't have the, the warmer underneath, which you kind of need to have. These were just eye candy. I just love them. I love like the gold shine inside. So pretty.
Nice made in Japan teacups. Simple but very elegant. I get all excited when I saw all these floral dishes. I did buy one of them. Which one do you think I bought? I'll show you at the very, very end. I did look this up later. The TST is for, I think it's Taylor Smith and Taylor. Never heard of the company before. I love the 403 and a half. What is this from? Like Harry Potter? <laughs> And I love these made in Japan mugs. I, again, I researched these on eBay. I could not find the exact ones. I found very similar ones. I was calling these mugs, but these might be more like espresso mugs. I, I don't know. These were fun. Got the double handle there. Sorry, notifications on my phone. You might get that every once in a while throughout this video. I do apologize for that. You really got to remember to turn the vibrate notification off on my phone. At first, I thought this was just a cocktail shaker, but it's actually a gin bottle. I think it's missing its top, though. Yeah, it's supposed to have a screw-on plastic top. Again, these are all the bins that the workers will take stuff off of these and put them on the shelves. So this is before anything hits the shelves. I always get excited. I always quick walk through and dig through. And I'm not alone. Like Other people do it as well. I had some intriguing books this time around. I found this massive, huge, heavy Norman Rockwell art, like artist art book. Like it's filled with all his artwork. Just so cool. It would be an awesome coffee table book. Actually, what you could do, you could probably just take them out of the book and frame them if you wanted to. looking for the price. Here's what they sold for. It sold for under $44 because it was scratched off. I don't don't know if you could see that, but no, oh, $9.99. For reselling, it probably probably would be okay. For your own collection, it'd be great. They had like four of these books. They had the Arabian Nights, and I can't remember what the other three were, but I love the illustrations. I think they want like a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine for each book. Um, again, I look them up, and they go for roughly that. So if you're just buying for yourself, not a bad deal for resale. Yeah, I love the artwork. Oh, look at the colors. I remember these. Is it Anne Geds Geeds? I think it's Geeds. I can't remember. I did look up on eBay. There's, I didn't realize how many different kinds there were. The type of fur, the eye color, the, the face shape. So this is the closest one I could find. And uh, I don't think I looked at the price what Goodwill was asking. I apologize. I just realized I missed that. I looked this one, this cute little killer whale, whale from 1988. I looked it up on uh, eBay. And I could not find one that sold. They have a bunch for sale, but none that have actually sold. Do y'all remember these snap bracelets? I remember these back in the 90s. These were so fun. I love them. I had a bunch as a kid. I came really close to buying these, but they just don't fit my style right now. So I did leave these behind. I love this picture. I'm honestly kicking myself for not buying this. I might go out today and see if it's still there. <laughs> I'm sure it's long gone for only $4. Ugh, why didn't I buy this? It's so old. Like, doesn't it just like look looks like it belongs in a farmhouse kitchen? Oh, I love it. It's so pretty.
I'm just checking out the purses. I honestly do not have an eye for name brand purses. I just go for what looks really cool. And usually it's not like some high-end name brand. But usually our Goodwill has good prices on their purses. And I have found leather purses for really, really cheap. I just get to her. This is actually, that purse was in really good condition. And the Goodwill price was very, very good. The Stone & Company purse, I looked this up. Um, it's not very exciting to look at, but it was leather. And if you want a good leather purse and you don't want to spend a lot, get that brand. Go on eBay. They don't sell for a whole lot. And they look like they're pretty decent. They're very basic looking. But it's a nice leather purse. I got excited when I saw the Minnie Mouse head like all over it and the Disney tags. Um, I thought maybe it would be worth something. But they don't sell for... I found one that sold... It did not sell for a lot. They have one for sale for like $7, but this one sold for, yeah, $4.95. This bag was so cool. I love the clocks and the flowers and like the turquoise background. It just, to me, it feels very Alice in Wonderland. But I don't, I do not use the backpack purses. I just find them kind of annoying, so. Kind of left that one behind. Of it would be good for flea marketing. I wouldn't have to have something over my shoulder. I feel like this little skunk lawn ornament was really cute back in the day, but for whatever reason, it's so buggered up. That probably would have been worth to buy and just repaint. It's only two dollars. Nice vintage floor lamp. The only one at $15.99. I don't know if you can see it. My phone didn't want to focus that day. But similar ones on eBay go for like over $100, $200. Just proving that you can find anything weird at <laughs> Goodwill. I wonder how old it was. I, I didn't know nothing about that, but it just caught my eye and kind of made me smile. And this is what I bought. This is the dish. The only thing that I bought, but I just loved it so much. It had a good feel to the hand, and I just I love the colors of the flowers. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.